Hi, my name is Samantha Pryor and I am an adoption consultant with CEC. Today, I would really love the opportunity to chat with you a little bit more about this month's theme, Emmanuel, God with us. And one of the most beautiful things to me um, about adoption is the uniqueness of everyone's story. No two families um, are brought into adoption for the same reasons. And there is such a beauty in the way Christ um, turns these really hard, broken situations and can bring some level of goodness out of them. And so for us, he was with us throughout our entire adoption journey. Um, but I think it's important to kind of understand a little bit of background um, for what brought my husband and I to this point. Um, you know, we got married and were open to life right away, just completely trusting that our family would grow in the time um, and according to God's plan. Only, it didn't happen that way. It didn't happen the way we thought or planned to um, as we quickly learned that we were dealing with infertility. And for anyone who has experienced infertility personally or has a family or loved one um, going through it, you know that it is hard. It's an incredibly lonely road um, and a club that no one ever has to be a part of. Um, however, there can come blessings from that. And that's what we saw in our adoption journey. Our infertility journey, um, God was with us every step of the way. You know, we saw him showing up for us in the love and in the support that family and friends shared through their prayers, through their kind gestures, through, um, you know, people willing to show acts of mercy um, for our intention. And over time, you know, obviously with infertility, that trust of God, I, I know you're going to grow my family and your timetable is really hard <laughs> to keep up with. Um, I struggled. I struggled really, really hard um, to really surrender to his will versus my plan and what I thought our life should look like and our family should look like. And so throughout quite a few years of that prayerful um, growth and learning how to truly turn it over to the Lord, um, more signs of his love and grace became prevalent. And um, my husband and I really started to consider adoption as a means to grow our family. And it we are so grateful for that cross of infertility because it would not have brought us to where we are in our adoption journey without it. One of the most incredible things um, about the way God can show up for us is that his plan is always so much greater, better than we can create ourselves. And if you're a type A person like me, I mean, I have the binders, I have the checklists, I like to plan and it can be really hard to step back from that. Um, so over time, seeds of adoption kept showing up, whether it be in readings at mass, through conversations um, with coworkers or friends, and every year we went to a mass at our church for infertility, miscarriage, and adoption. And one year we had the privilege of meeting two other families um, who had walked the path of adoption and really took a lot of time to chat with us and help educate us and share um, some of their story. Coming home from that mass, we were standing in the kitchen and talking about what does the future of growing our family look like. And we decided um, that we were going to start just collecting information about adoption, fully realizing that it wasn't a replacement for infertility. It was a whole separate path, a whole separate vocation. And that's truly what adoption came became for our family was an entirely new vocation that was entrusted to us through God and through the Holy Spirit, kind of 
it got to the point like slapping us over the head with, you know, you need to pursue this. And that pull and that tug in our hearts was there. So fast forward, um, we're now in the presenting process of our adoption journey and we are reviewing um, our own expectations of what this will look like and navigating hearing not yet, um, not being matched with these expecting mamas and figuring out through prayer and through the Holy Spirit um, how to not take it quite so personally, which is really hard to do. Um, and it got to the point where I feel like we were able to really view these situations as um, shifting our mindset. And I contribute this completely to the Holy Spirit um, and God showing up for us throughout the heartache and throughout the, the sadness um, and giving us continued hope. So our perspective shifted from how are we being used as an instrument of Christ throughout this time? How special that we are able to um, have the opportunity to pray for this expecting mama, to pray for this, expect this, this baby and the life that they are going to have and how can we provide support in the, um, space that we are in right now? How can we um, be a beacon of light and show love, respect for that mom and for that baby? And so taking that approach, and I'm so grateful that um, God was able to kind of plant that on our hearts because we don't know God's plan. You know, he sees everything and the goodness for each and every one of us. And sometimes we're being used in a way um, that is speaking to someone else that we don't even understand or our cross or our heartache. And so I really saw um, God with us throughout our adoption journey in the not yets and in the no's and through um, that heavy heart for those moms and also for ourselves um, and for the babies and just these situations that are hard um, and that you wish weren't there at all. You know, in a perfect world, adoption um, wouldn't exist. However, seeing God in the brokenness and allowing his mercy to come through and carry us is um, an amazing thing. And so throughout our adoption process and presenting, um, it all came together so incredibly when we um, were matched with our daughter and our daughter's family. And every detail could not have been more carefully or perfectly constructed. Um, it was evident that this was God's plan for us and for our family and to um, connect with this other family. And I didn't know it was possible to um, see God's hand and feel his presence quite so deeply and to see his sovereignty and mercy um, so prevalent. And it really has... Um, given me a whole new appreciation and trust in his plan and in his love and in his faithfulness.